Inception. As always, I'm going to try to be as objective as I can, and I hope I can give you an idea of if you're going to like this movie or not. But to start off, I gotta say, this really lived up to the hype, to me. I went in with very high expectations, and the movie exceeded them. This and The Dark Knight are the best Nolan has done. Now, they've done a really good job of keeping the plot a secret, so I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I can tell you the basic concept. Basically, a technology exists that allows people to go into other people's dreams. You follow a team on a mission inside someone's dreams. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Now, already when I say that, it brings up two unavoidable comparisons. So number one, this is not like The Science of Sleep, Mulholland Drive, or Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It isn't terribly surreal, and it's considerably less colorful than those movies. I don't want to use the word creative, because it is a creative film. But it isn't looking to challenge any of those films as far as that aspect goes. And second, yes, this is somewhat similar to The Matrix and the other films that bear a similarity to The Matrix. With that said, it's really not the same thing, and this is a quite original movie. It differs from The Matrix in that the action is not particularly stylized in this, and where The Matrix has this broad focus on many different philosophical ideas, this one chooses existentialism and focuses on that with the intensity of a laser. And honestly, The Matrix revolutionized sci-fi in 1999, and I think Inception is going to do the same thing now. It's very thought-provoking, it communicates its themes remarkably well, especially for a fairly mainstream movie overall. I would say it's probably a good idea to have a basic understanding of some of the ideas in existentialism. But hey, maybe it isn't necessary. It is a film that does require you to pay attention. You need to concentrate for the whole two and a half hour running time. I would say that it is completely worth it. I gotta admit, I was one of the people who, by the time The Prestige ended, was a bit less enthusiastic about it than when it began. That didn't happen here. It had me from start to finish, and what an excellent ending that was. I would classify the film as a psychological thriller, with elements of mystery and sci-fi. It's a blessing to all us fans of him that Nolan knows what he's good at and sticks to that. There is action in this, and it's quite well choreographed, if slightly awkwardly covered. I'd say it still seems like he doesn't quite know what to do with that. I mean, if you saw either of his Batman movies, you probably know what I'm talking about. With that said, the action was very exciting. It's a very intense movie. And you'd think that 148 minutes of a lot of intensity would be very straining, but surprisingly it isn't. On the whole, this is filmed and edited very well. There are maybe one or two places where the editing is a little bit off. Again, nothing that particularly took away from it. The acting is spot on. Everyone is well cast. The characters are sufficiently developed, and so are their relationships with one another. We only really get to know a few of them. No one could have been written out. And the way they are together seems quite natural. The film is visually stunning. The effects are amazing. And, as you may already know about Nolan, he knows that they are a tool. They never take over. The story is always the focus, and everything animated feels like it has weight to it. You know, it feels real, it feels like it is there. I think it's quite impressive how this works both as a smart and thought-provoking movie and sort of as a summer blockbuster, too. There's somehow room for both aspects without either of them completely taking over. I mean, it's an engaging, food-for-thought-serving, film that is 
at the same time entertaining and exciting. Not everyone is going to like it. I think it partially has to do with whether you require an explanation to enjoy an idea or whether you just want that idea explored well. This is more about the idea, I would say, than the explanation. I mean, it's not an art film that's gonna leave every answer up to yourself to discover, but it also doesn't give you all of the answers. I guess you can think of it this way. Star Trek has people going to other planets. Now, based on what we know about science today, that seems quite far-fetched. Now, maybe that's going to turn some people off, and others are just going to enjoy how they use the other planets to debate aspects of human nature, among other things. Finally, I would just like to say I thought it was pretty awkward the way it tried to shy away from blood or violence. I can appreciate that a PG-13 allows a larger audience, but there were a couple of things in this that should really have been rewritten or filmed in a different way, because with them not showing exactly what's going on, well, you might be confused as to what exactly is going on. I know I was a couple of times. Well, I hope as many of you as possible do go see it. I think even if you don't love it, it's still interesting enough that you're gonna get your money's worth. Anyway, that was my spoiler-free review. I hope you enjoyed it.